Have you ever wondered what your choice of favorite anime, anime characters, or in-series powers and abilities say about you as a person? Well, today you can find that out. Welcome to Cosplay FTW, your number one source for the latest lowdown on anime and manga news updates and analysis. Sit back, relax, and before we get into this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you don't miss any more of our fresh anime content. Let's jump right in. <laughs> We'll start with a question based on the Hunter x Hunter series. Take 30 seconds and pick the Nen category that suits you the most. Choose wisely. If you picked Manipulator, you are a highly observant and curious person. You're immensely focused on understanding the world around you, constantly absorbing new information and ideas. You have the ability to remember facts and details with ease, and you're good at showing your mental acuity through analyzing all the information you've gleaned and finding the relationships between seemingly unconnected facts. Because you tend to focus on the bottom line, you like to find the practical uses of things, and you learn best when you can see how to apply that knowledge in real-world scenarios. You prefer to actually solve a problem than to just abstractly speculate. But when there aren't any puzzles to figure out or problems to solve, you can sometimes find yourself seeking out mental stimulation through other means, namely arguments, discussions, and debates. Did number two specialist pique your interest? Then, you're an objective and rational person and tend to prioritize logic over emotions. You're highly individualistic and you prefer to play by your own rules. You have a rich inner world and enjoy being in your own company to contemplate your deep interests rather than being constantly surrounded by other people. Still, you can't help but attract them anyway since you have quite a magnetic personality, if not charismatic. People certainly find you fascinating. You are a bit of an enigma to others coming off cool and collected and preferring to play your cards close to your vest. But since you have a habit of hiding or suppressing your innermost feelings, be sure to find healthy outlets for self-expression. You may be particularly gifted in one area, and rather than being a jack-of-all-trades, you're likely to become a master at one. Even if you might come off as aloof, your positive traits make you efficient and ideal when a job needs to be done. If you picked number three, Conjurer. You're a quiet, serious, and generally kind person. You excel at noticing when something is out of place and can easily spot inconsistencies and changes in your environment. When a current experience doesn't line up with what you know from the past, your mind goes on instant alert. Being so observant and detail-oriented, combined with your natural caution, it's rare that you ever get hoodwinked. You're stable and very dependable by nature, and similarly appreciate structure and routine in your own life. You strongly prefer what's tried and true over abstract, unproven ideas. Just be careful of becoming too rigid and leave room for innovation and spontaneity. What if you chose number four, Enhancer? Then you're enthusiastic and excitable. You're also strong-willed, determined, and generally honest. You tend to prefer group activities and social gatherings to being alone, and you are easily energized by social interactions. You don't make snap judgments and prefer to make decisions when you have the most information. In the same way, you take the time to learn about someone before judging them. You may sometimes come off as unprepared to others who tend to make elaborate plans and preparations, but you're simply hyper aware that information in your environment flows and changes at such a fast rate that making an informed decision long in advance isn't really possible. You're great at spotting opportunities in the moment and making the best out of them, and you always have the various contingencies in mind for unexpected scenarios that can crop up at any time. In other words, you're a master at improvisation. If you chose number five, emitter, then you are a confident, decisive, and assertive individual, but you deeply value your interpersonal bonds and relationships. At your core, you are a deeply emotional being, and you're extremely in tune with them. You have a great capacity for compassion for others, perhaps more than any other type. You have a clear sense of right and wrong, so when you see the mistreatment or suffering of others, this immediately galvanizes you into action. Since you have a tendency to wear your heart on your sleeve, you can be volatile and impulsive in your actions and reactions sometimes, leading to negative consequences. Still, you're courageous and capable of taking risks, and oftentimes, you're rewarded for it. You're more of a big-picture person, 
And though this allows you to be highly successful, remember that the devil's in the details that you might miss if you're not paying attention to them. Finally, if you picked number 6, Transmuter, you're unique and unpredictable. You prefer autonomy, you're not a follower, but nor do you want to lead others. You like free range to do whatever you want. You're quick on the uptake and with a creative mind, allowing you to come up with an innovative solution to new challenges. And you love a challenge. The downside to this is you love a challenge. When things start to get too monotonous and predictable, you easily lose steam and interest. When it comes to a target or goal, your ambition is fierce, but so is your wandering eye. You can't help but be aware of all options available to you, and you're always enthusiastic about rising to a new challenge or taking advantage of a great new opportunity. This can make you ending up biting off more than you can chew in your attempt to exercise all your options or seem fickle and dishonest about your intentions when you flit from one goal to the next. Add time. Wow! Summer's here, I can't wait to go to anime cons, cosplay pool parties, photo shoots, and... Wait a minute. <gasps> I don't have any new cosplays. What the heck am I gonna do? <laughs> I am the cosplay bear. I am here to tell you. Don't worry, girl, that's easy. Just go to cosplayftw.com where you can find hundreds of cosplays, props, and wigs, and everything you need to have a great summer doing TikToks or photos or whatever, and they ship worldwide. Thanks, Cosplay Bear. You and Cosplay FTW have saved my summer. End of ad. Take 30 seconds and choose the volleyball team position that attracts you the most. Did you choose number one, Wing Spiker? Then you have a big personality. You have a strong character, and you're always willing to fight for what you want, giving 110%. You're a powerful and enthusiastic individual with plenty of heart, often galvanizing the people around you with your energy. When you choose to pursue something, you're dedicated, and even though failures may disappoint you, you're resilient and bounce back quickly. Was number two, Middle Blocker, your choice? Then you have a dominating presence and may sometimes come off as a bit intimidating. Whether you're a people person or not, you're really good at observing and reading others. Since this is one of the tougher positions to play well, your choice shows that you're very intelligent, a quick thinker, and quick-witted. What if you picked number three, Ace? You stand out from the crowd, and you like it that way. You may be a bit flashy, and you also don't mind some well-deserved praise time and again. You like being relied upon by others and, in fact, take pride in shouldering big responsibilities that others might not be equipped to handle. You have confidence even in the face of adversity, and even if a challenge manages to shake you, you have the mental strength to pull yourself out of a slump. Did you choose number four, Libro? Well, if there was only one word we could choose to describe you, it's fierce! The Libro is someone who has to constantly be in the pursuit of the ball, and in the same way, you doggedly pursue your goals. You're a team player though, so you don't mind creating opportunities to let others shine. Still, there are many people who see you as inspiring, even though most of the time you aren't seeking glory whatsoever. If you chose number five, Setter, you're a shot caller who likes being in control, even if you don't come across as outwardly dominant. You value good communication, and you take steps to improve these skills even if they don't come to you naturally because you understand that this is how to build trust with the people around you. You're highly observant and decisive, and can take in a lot of information at once, and then cut through the noise and make a good decision. Finally, if you chose number six, the captain. You're a hard worker and a born leader. You're someone who can be relied upon, and the people around you can put their complete trust in you and your decisions. You're supportive and empathetic, able to sow peace between groups of people and making you great at organizing others. You're passionate to the extreme. Others might even consider you a bit crazy. But that's just who you are. You put your all into everything you do. And that wraps up today's personality quiz. How close were we to describing your personality? Let us know your thoughts and results in the comment section below, and we'll see you in the next one.
Okay, so I've seen a couple other people on TikTok order these Haiku mystery boxes where you tell them your favorite team and give them your shirt size. So I ordered one a couple weeks ago and it just came in the middle, so I'm going to show you what I got. I was like way too excited when I got it and forgot to film, but first up is these pins. These Bogoto and Akashi pins. Next, I got this really cute Karasuno lanyard. I already attached this to another keychain, but I got this really cute Akashi uh, keychain as well. This is probably my favorite thing I got, honestly. It's just this Akashi plush, um, the same picture on each side, but it's like super soft. <laughs> okay, I take it back. This is probably my favorite thing I got. It's um, a body pillow cover. And then on the other side is Akashi. <laughs> So that's all the stuff I got in the mystery box. Uh, if you're looking for like cute haiku merch that you might not be able to find like anywhere, um, I would definitely recommend ordering one of these boxes. Um, I'll put the website that I ordered it from in the comments.